Hi, sister. January 31st, the end of January, first month of 2020 is almost done. And tomorrow is February 1st. And to me, that means that it's my birthday month. I was born at the end of February. And my first thought today was, well, I'm going to celebrate the whole month. It's going to be my birthday celebration the whole month. And I don't usually do anything like that, but I figured, uh, why not? And as I was thinking about it, I thought about my birthday last year. And I was in the class with Rev Drawer, the Sunday night group class, um, a year ago on my birthday. And I had the intention to ask for a bracha, for a blessing on my birthday. And that's what I did. And as soon as the class started, that's what I asked for. I said, please, you know, Rev Drawer, please bless me. It's my birthday and I want a blessing. And I was waiting for like the most amazing blessing for my birthday. And it didn't come. Instead, what I got was, on your birthday, you have the power to bless other people. So please bless the group. And I was pretty shocked, of course. I wasn't prepared to bless all of these people on the group. And I did. And it was a very powerful experience to think, like, who am I to bless anybody? I was asking the rabbi for a blessing, but instead I was given the realization that we really all have the power to bless each other and how, how important our spoken word is and what we say, how much meaning, how much meaning it has. And um, I ended up going to Canada to a friend for my birthday right after that class, a few days later. And I went to a synagogue with my friend and we went into um, a class the rabbi was going to give and everyone was sitting around the table waiting for the class to start. And my friend raises her hand and tells the rabbi, wait, before we start, this is my friend here from New Jersey and it's her birthday. So she can bless everyone. And again, I was so surprised. I came to hear the rabbi talk to me. I came to hear a class and to spend time with my friend and here she's announcing my birthday. And I hadn't even told her what happened in the class. And so the rabbi looks at me and he says, seriously, he says, please bless me. I would like a blessing that I make good decisions. And once again, I was so overcome by this rabbi asking me for a blessing and so I did and then one or two other people in the class said you know when when we're done with the class I would like a blessing too if it's your birthday and if it does have a special power and when I was remembering that this morning as I was contemplating how am I going to celebrate my birthday this month for me I remembered this from last year and I realized that uh, maybe this month can be a month where I'm aware of everything that I say as much as possible and to greet people properly and well and to bless them and have a good day is a blessing and um, have a good Shabbos is a blessing and be well is a blessing and just to keep that in mind for this month that we all have the power to bless each other. So that was my thoughts for today on my birthday month and my thoughts on Rav Dror's class a year ago and, and, um, and how I remember that and how powerful that was, but also how easy it was for me to forget and to say, okay, it's my birthday month, like what's in it for me? And once again, um, thanks to taking these classes, I remember that it isn't about me. And um, at the same time, it is about me and what I have to give. So it's not about me and what I'm going to receive this month. It's about what I can give this month. And I think that um, this applies to everybody all the time, not only on our birthdays. So be blessed and have a wonderful Shabbos and uh, bless each other.